So this week I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite Valentine's Day trends from around the site. And these aren't really your typical Valentine's Day uh, gifts, they're just more like, I guess, they're either really casual or really gross. I really am not a super mushy person, so these totally appeal to me. At number five, we have Love Inspired Nail Decals, and these are from an Etsy shop, and basically they are little stickers that you put on a light pink manicure, um, and they just kind of look like those little candy hearts. Um, this is probably like the girliest thing I would ever do on Valentine's Day, but they look easy enough, so that totally appeals to my lazy side. My number four trend is called Composer Inspired Valentine's Cards, and what I like about these is that they say really nice things, but in a joking way, so you really don't have to put yourself out there that much. Um, so what they are is these really like, sort of like, they're either really sleazy or really cute, um, and basically they're Valentine's Day puns, um, but they're basically based on really famous composers like Mozart and Bach. Um, so I love this. It's super nerdy and it just seems like a really funny way to communicate how much you actually like someone. My number three trend is also great for somebody who's emotionally unavailable. So this is basically a DIY that teaches you how to make these like really silly, um, they're basically like a, a pun as a gift. So what it tells you to do is take little zoo figurines, put them in a bag and basically make some horrible joke um, like I'm wild about you. <laughs> as a Valentine's Day gift, so like, this is really like the least romantic gift I could ever think of and I love it for that reason. My number two trend is called Anatomically Correct Valentine Gifts and I love this as well. It really reminds me of something that um, April from Parks and Rec might give Andy um, because they're just not really the mushy type and she's really into disgusting stuff. So what this is, is a basically crocheted anatomical heart that says I love you on it and this is just the grossest way to approach romance so I am absolutely obsessed with it. My number one trend is these Valentine's Day cards by an illustrator named Emily McDowell and I am obsessed with these because they're basically how I talk as you can see right now I'm really big into rambling. These are designed for people who have basically just started dating and maybe aren't official yet and you still want to do something nice for that person but you don't want to come out and like get them chocolates and like really put yourself out there because you're not even sure where you stand. So basically this card goes on, it's probably like a hundred words long and it's just like, I just wanted to kind of say, um, I don't know, da da da, I just wanted to say hi I guess. Um, and it's just this really awkward but really relatable uh, card and I just think it's so charming. So if you have any other trends or cards that you think I could use to sort of awkwardly express my affection, please tweet them to me at CourtneyKV. And have a great Valentine's Day. Thank mm -hmm. you.